Hi, Ray here, and uh, you've probably uh, clicked on this video because you're a fan of Dan Fogelberg, and you're also a fan of the song The Reach, as I am, off of his uh, Innocent Age album, my favorite Dan Fogelberg album. But I'd like to show you how to play the song, and uh, I learned it off of uh, watching him play it on YouTube video over and over, and uh, it's actually very simple. If you're an intermediate player, you'll pick up on it real quick, even if you're a beginner. The body of the song is very simple to play, the chords are very simple. The trick is he's got it in an alternate tuning, an open D chord. That's okay, don't let that scare you away. If you haven't played in an open tuning before, give it a shot. So um, let's get started. Uh, we're going to look at the tuning, and we're going to look at the, uh, the intro, which is probably the most difficult part, and then we're going to look at the body of the song, the verses and the chorus, which are actually so simple you may be surprised. But let's get started. All right, here we're going to talk about our alternate tuning. We're going to tune into an open D chord. It's really not that difficult, but watch what I do here. Right now, I'm in a standard tuning. But what we're going to do is, first of all, change your first string, that high E, to a D. If I play a D here, I'll make the E sound like it. Your second string, the E B, it's going to be tuned to an A, so if I play an A here, that's what I want it to sound like. The third string, your G, wants to be tuned to an F sharp, which is played here. So if I play an F sharp here, getting there, right? Your fourth string, the D, stays right there on a D. Your fifth string, the A, also stays as an A. And your sixth string, the low E, we're going to tune down to a low D. Here's your open D chord. Many songs in your rock and roll classic catalog have been uh, played in an open D or an open E, but the uh, next thing though that I want to show you is what Dan does, is he puts a capo on the third fret. Now that actually puts the song in the original recorded key of F. So we are now in the key of F, and we're going to move on to the introduction. That's the next clip. Now I'll admit that the introduction is going to be the most difficult part. But for the, those of you who are fans of the song, maybe it's a little hard for you, you don't even have to play what I'm going to show you how to play right now. And that's all right. Uh, but uh, if, you haven't, or if you're not familiar with the terms hammer on and pull off, he does a couple of those for this introduction. Let me play it for you. Now this first chord, I'm playing the open D and then I'm playing what's similar to an E7 in standard tuning. Those are the two chords that are used in the intro. Notice how I hammer on the second chord. And then here comes the melodic intro. Ready? watch that a couple of times out here. I'm going to kind of dissect that uh, little introdu introduction melody for you. It goes like this. See where I got my third finger? And he's pulling it off. Is that pull off? slowly for you, the melody, 
So you can see what I'm doing with my fingers. And notice how the first note, he plays on the strum. And it's beautiful, you don't get to hear that on the record as much. There's some more other uh, orchestral instruments doing that melody, but I love it on a guitar, the way he plays it. Continue practicing that. Bring it up to the same rhythm as the song. And then what you can also learn to do as you get better and better on this intro is kind of play the notes with your fingers on the left hand, but kind of mix it in with strumming with the right. See, as a, the tag on the end of that is a little da 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 da, and then the last part of the introduction there, he's playing. Uh, got his third finger on the fifth string, his first finger on the third string, and prepare to do a hammer on with your middle finger. repeating it just to show you what I'm doing there. And in tempo, sounds like this. So let's take that intro, uh, the whole thing through. Ready? Here we go. myself. All right, we're going to go into uh, learning the verses, and it's so simple here. You're going to love it. But it's going to go like this. It's May, and it's autumn. The birches have just begun turning. It's life, and it's dying. You see what I did there? The first chord is open. The second chord is similar to an E7 in your standard tuning. tuning. It's May and it's autumn, the birches have just... And here's your second chord to learn. Begun turning. Take my middle finger and move it down to the fourth string. Turning. Throw in a little hammer on. It's life, and it's dying, the lobstermen's boats come returning. With the catch of the day, and all I'm doing here for this chord, I have my middle finger on the fifth string. With the catch of the day in their holes. In the next chord, I've got my f first finger on the third string. That's the only string I'm pressing on. And a young boy is cold and complaining. And I put my middle finger back on here for the ing. The fog meets the beaches and out on 
the reach it is raining. There's that tag which comes at the end of a lot of the lines there. It's where he plays the same chord I taught you in the intro. So that's your, uh, that's the verse. Then we're going to move on to the chorus. And the All right, it's time for the chorus, and it's a simple chorus, just as the verse is simple. Here we go. It starts like this. And the morning will blow away as the waves crash and fall. Okay, simple, right? And the morning will blow I just just this one finger on the fifth string when you hit sit, hit the word waves and the waves crash and fall and they reach like a siren sings as she beckons and calls there's my other special chord that uh, your middle finger is on your fourth string here See that? Second half of the chorus. As the coastline recedes from you, and the seas swell and roar. It's that little slide up there on the roar, on the word roar. roar. I will take from the all that she has to teach to the depths of my soul. Into the intro. Pretty easy, huh? So there you've got the intro, you've got the verses, and you've got the chorus. You listen to the song uh, a, a number of times and you can't miss it. And if you're like me and you, you've heard the song a million times, it's in your head. Um, I've just shown you a few of the easy tricks that go along with it. Enjoy the song, play it for all your friends, dazzle them a little bit with your uh, open tuning, and, um, and celebrate uh, some music by a great musician, Dan Fogelberg, who's greatly missed these days. Uh, God bless you, and uh, stick around if you want to see a couple of outtakes. Hi, this is Ray, and... Uh, no, cut. <laughs> Sir, shut up! Sorry. Um, sugar no! It's an alternate tuning uh, in the open chord of G uh, cut. Hi, Ray here. 